Hi guys! I am back for another sketch box unboxing. We have our special guest Fizz Gig here today to help us. She seems to really enjoy the sketch boxes and likes to rub all over them, so I'm just gonna let it go. All right, for those of you that don't know, Sketchbox is a monthly art subscription box. I'll have their information linked down below. This is the Premier Box, in case you're wondering. Now, I decided to do something and keep track. I get Sketchbox and Palettful Packs, so I am going to start keeping track of which box I think wins for the previous month. So last month, we're going to review what we got and um, I'll try to insert a picture here. The sketch box, we got some Rembrandt pastels, some other pastels, Schmitka and Karen Dosh. That was the palette hole packs for August. And then, I'm sorry, that was a sketch box for August. The palette hole packs was Marabou sketch markers. We got a couple of packs of those and some Faber-Castell pit pens. I'll insert a picture here. I think just because, well, and this is no surprise to you, that the sketch box won last month because I'm more of a pastel artist than a marker person. So I'm going to start keeping track of which box is better through these months, just for my own curiosity. So sketch box has a mark. Let's start getting into these months, or the month of September's boxes. And it's September already, folks. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, I'm just going to give a quick little overview. And let's start in with our goodies. We always get a um, little card saying how much everything costs and what we're getting. I'll put this off the side and read off of it. I'm assuming this is this month's materials. Looks like some graphite or maybe charcoal. Sketch box for September. Jane Jade Henning Cantrell. There is her beautiful art. Let's just grab in. I think we have something that's out of its little. I'm, I'm assuming this was in here, maybe. Maybe, oh yeah, this probably came in here. This is a Derwent Kneadable Eraser. Derwent Kneadable Artist Eraser, retail price is $5.41. We all know what these are good for. This one came packaged pretty nice. It's all nice and wrapped up. And I'm a big fan of Derwent. Those are always nice to get. And let me see how many of these we get. I like to get out all the like items. These look familiar. Didn't we get these not too long ago? So this, these are the Uni Emo. Emo. Um, these are pens. And we got a few of them not too long ago. I really like them, but they're up in my office because I use them to write people letters and notes on their little, their orders. We had a nice variety of colors. And so, yeah, I did. I use them a lot, just not down here in the art room. But it says that these are $2.29 each. We got three colors. Okay, so it's, it says we shipped a set of these back in April and included three more to expand your range of colors. So, um, yeah. I thought we got some, and we did. But yeah, I use these quite a bit upstairs. I like to write with them. So these will be going up. Up next is a Cop Copic Multiliner in wine. Well, that's nice. I get tired of getting black constantly. So there's a very nice wine multiliner. And the little card says this is a staff favorite. Retail price is $3.99. And we chose a relatively new color wine to add to your palette this month. So, yeah, I do like that. Uh, I'm tired of getting black. 
I don't use these a whole lot, so it's fun to get different colors. Let's get into the paper next. Boris Marker. Pen, ink, and marker paper. Hmm. So here's a nice little, I'm sorry, it's a four by six. And oh, that feels very smooth and it's almost trans it's transparent. You can see through it. So this might be really good to um, do some sketching. Let's read about this. It's from Borden and Riley. Boris marker pad, four by six. Retail price is $7.95. It says custom. This paper is bright white, semi-transparent with a smooth finish. Not only will it hold up to markers and it won't bleed, it works great for graphite too. What do you think about this paper, Fizz? Do you like it? Yeah, okay. So uh, I'm gonna guess we're getting graphite since it said that. Get your tails in the way. And yes, we are. So here's a nice little set of Faber-Castell just graphite pe pencils. Um, we're getting six of them. Let's read about these. Um, a set of six drawing pencils. Retail price is thirteen thirty, and it just says these are high quality, a range from eight B to H B, so you can lightly sketch and add more robust lines. Um, what is nice is most of my graphite in my collection right now is all Derwent. And the only reason is, is I, I got a couple of Derwent products and I liked them, so I just kept buying them. So I like to try other brands. I, I, this is probably going to be just as good as Derwent, if not better. I'm not sure. I heard I hear good things about their drawing pencils, but um, I'm excited to give these a try. Which is kind of weird because I just ordered some Derwent pencils that I'll be reviewing in a future video. So maybe we'll do like a side-by-side -side comparison for you. But here are these, and I'll get these out in a moment and swatch them. Here is the sticker for the month. Isn't that cute? That's very different. I like it. And I forgot there's a, a little guy at the, at the bottom. Kiritake, very popular, a calligraphy pen. Ooh. Oh, um, let me, well, anyway, this is like a little tiny chisel, a little baby chisel. That's fantastic. Um, I already like it right off the bat. <laughs> um, and this is a good brand. So, and I'm guessing sepia. This is a nice brownish red terracotta color. So I might use this too in, f in the future. Um, like I said, I'm just... I'm done with the black liner pens. I like a little bit of color. And our last product this month is a little, looks like a Sketchbox pencil case. This is a Sketchbox signature art supply case. Retail price is $9.99. Staff favorite, or exclusive, sorry. Say hello to our new favorite art supply case. The rigid lining can be pressed in at the bottom to hold the box open, making it easy to grab your supplies on the go. Wasn't well, that adorable? There we go. So, go like that to make our box. It's going to be sitting out. We can grab our stuff from it. Where it zips up. That's very handy. I'm going to enjoy that a lot. I like it. Oh, so let's open her up like that. Okay, so here's all our products. I am going to snap a picture real quick and let's swatch some of these goodies out. All right, so I've got my little sketchbook um, supply journal out. I added the things that don't swatch real quick. And since we don't have, I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of these pens. 
This is very, this, I love this. Oh, there it shows up the chisel tip. This is fantastic. Uh, water based dye ink. How do you spell Kirtaki? Isn't this the brand that does really good watercolors? We have the Copic Multiliner in Wine. This is very thin. I'm not even sure what to say about this one. This is so fine. Tiny little details with this right here. So here are three emot, emote, I don't know. So we have this nice turquoise color, tannish beige. In this dusty blue. All right, this is the last thing to swatch, and I went ahead. I thought this was an odd array of materials, so I went on the Sketchbox website and looked at their video for this month. And it's Technical Drawing Month. That maybe explains some of these things. I, like I said, I, I thought the pencils and some of these liner pens were a little bit strange, but I do understand now why we got what we got. So let's open this up. I love it when we get little packs of things in tins. I say that while I'm struggling to open it. But ooh, very nice display. And um again, I'm kind of excited to give these a try. Like I said, I've got a lot of Derwents and for no real reason, um I'm sure these are lovely too. There we go. So the B stands for black, which is going to mean it's softer and as it goes down HB is neutral or like in the middle it's between hard and black and then when there's an H behind it means it's a harder lead so it's going to be lighter and lighter so we have a lot of nice looks like a range of B's so it's going to be a, a darker darker um, line for us let's start with the HB I know a lot of, oh, I'm not even in focus. A lot of people that watch my art videos aren't necessarily artists or know a lot about materials. So I'm going to explain this real quick in my own terms. Okay, this is how I think of it in my mind. The, necess the reason that we have so many pencils with different leads in it is so you can use the same pressure but get different lightness and darkness. The goal is not to use different pressure to get light and dark. You're supposed to use a different harder or softer lead. So that's a little explanation for those of you that don't understand why you would get a pack of six pencils that, I mean, for drawing, but that's, that's typically what it means. You're supposed to use the same pressure no matter what, but use a different lead. I hope that makes sense. So this is a pencil that's supposed to, HBs are supposed to be like right in the middle between hard and soft. And some of these you won't tell a difference on camera. Like I doubt there's much difference between the HB and the B. I think you can now tell a little difference between the 2B and the HB. Here's the 4B. Don't ask me why they didn't say H for hard and S for soft. It goes hard and then black. Who thought of this? I'm using the same pressure, but as you can see, it's much darker. This is the kind of thing that excites artists that like to use graphite, swatching out their new pencil set, 8B. Mm -hmm. So 
so I think you can tell um, in person it's it's more of a variety but you can tell the HB is much lighter lead than the bottom here so this is a very nice I thought they felt good in the hand I have no complaints about these and I'm very excited to use them now I am going to be doing a graphite project coming up so instead of doing some art at the end of this video I'm actually going to probably post on Instagram um, some of that art and I'm going to use these pencils. So be looking for something to be posted in the next month or so. You know how that goes. So yeah, this, this is a sketch box for September. It looks like we had a technical drawing month. I like getting graphite pencils and things for drawing. So I, I'm not mad at it. Like I said, it's an odd box, but uh, you know, Somebody else might think it's the coolest array of materials I've ever seen, and that is fantastic. So anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like these kind of unboxings. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.